let's go over voltage regulation and sinner diodes. So voltage regulators, what are these good for? Um, as I mentioned in previous lectures, all the type of blocks and functional circuits or functional blocks that you need in electronics, first, try to understand them at a functional level, right? So you would say a voltage regulator is a circuit that will do something like this. If my input is, um, this is time, I'm going to call this input voltage. It's a voltage with a ripple, something like that. Okay, so imagine a DC voltage with ripple, with variations. And that's something that you cannot tolerate in your circuit. And what you want is something like this. Right? A stable DC voltage that's independent over some region of operation independent of loading conditions. And this is my output voltage. We're talking about voltage regulation. So you go from a voltage that changes due to variations in the input or variations in the output, in the load, to something that is much more stable. Okay, different from filter, by the way. This is, as you change the load, you get a steep voltage. Uh, when you used to have a ripple, that goes away. So you think about our unregulated power supply in the previous problem, where we had a ripple due to the charging and discharging of the capacitor. That will be, for instance, the input and the output will be something like this. So now that you have a functional block, this is useful in many applications, especially power supplies, but other applications also. You can think about, well, what devices will enable me to create this? And so now you have a circuit with some de actual real devices, not just a model. And, um, and then perhaps what, how do we improve um, the circuits to achieve that function? Okay, with some measures of performance. The simplest device that will enable you to do something like this will be with a sinner diode. Now you can get better and better when you combine a sinner with an operational amplifier and you can get better regulators by adding complexity. But in terms of if you are trying to get a single device that will enable you to do this, a Sinner diode may be useful. So let's go with a Sinner diode. Sinner diodes. Sinner diodes are special <coughs> diodes that are manufactured, okay, to operate in the breakdown region at low breakdown voltages. for low breakdown voltages, okay? And the steepness of the curve in the breakdown region makes them suitable as voltage regulators, since the voltage is constant for significant variations in current. Let's go over this. So the symbol for the sinner, something like this, okay? And you can talk about a sinner voltage when you have a reverse current, okay? And that's your achieved breakdown. Remember, 
You can go back to the videos on the semiconductor devices, fundamentals, where there were two mechanisms and two phenomena where breakdown occur. A very high voltages, or, or not a high voltage, a high voltage is where the typical breakdown is due to an avalanche effect. And the other one is the Sinner effect. In this case, we have Sinner diodes with Sinner di effect, Sinner breakdown designed to operate under reverse bias characteristics. Okay? And the IV curve looks like this. This is the voltage. And this is the current. Okay. We have something that in the forward region looks like a diode. We are not going to use it in the forward region. What we have is that we can control, we can select the sinner diode for a particular breakdown voltage that you want. This is the sinner voltage. And then it has a very steep a very steep diode curve in the breakdown region, which means that you can have very significant changes in current. Okay, this is the thinner current. It's so imagine that you are here. And give you the same voltage. So significant changes in current give you a steady voltage. I'm going to write it here. A steady voltage. for large current changes. Okay? Again, the breakdown in this case is due to thinner. The thinner effect as opposed to not avalanching. And it is not destructive. This is the actual design. And so in that case, you could think that if you have an unregulated voltage somewhere, let's actually do it like this. This is my unregulated VS, unregulated. I need a steady voltage out. Let's imagine for instance that VS is 20 volts, I want 10 volts out that is steady. I can do something like this. I can connect my load across a sinner for a particular sinner voltage here. Okay. And so my output, if this is my output across the load, is going to be equal to the sinner voltage, okay, as long as, so I have a current here, I'm going to call it IS, that is going to branch out my sinner current and my load current, I load. As we change the value of the load, the load current is going to change. This low current becomes here. So significant changes in the current is, are still going to give me the same sinner voltage. Let's do a practical example in the next video. Thank you.